Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. Today is our lecture number 29. In this lecture, we will study about the relay coordination, taking an example in ETAB. In the previous lecture, we have also taken a simple example, but that was very a simple example. It is somehow uh, complicated than this example. In this lecture, we will take this example. This is the example which we are going to discuss in this lecture. You can see here, this is a grid and this is a CT and this is a relay and this is a high voltage circuit breaker and this is another high voltage circuit breaker and this is the transformer 6.6 to 0.41 kilovolt transformer 2 MVA rating and this is, you can go for here, you can see little bit here and this is the motor the load here is motor in the previous example we have taken the load as a static load but here the we have considered the load as a motor and we have provided protection to the motor through overload relay contactor fuse and switch we will start this, uh, explain this uh, example from bottom to top Starting a lecture, we have a small question for you, which you can answer in your comment section. What is the current writing and creepage distance of 11 kV isolator for 33 by 11 kV 10 MVA substation? You have to tell what is the creepage distance and the current rating of an isolator used in the 10 MVA 33 by 11 kV substation. You have four options. Option A is 525 ampere 300 mm. Option B is 650 ampere, 630 ampere, 300 mm. And option C is 525 ampere, 400 mm. And option D is 630 ampere, 400 mm. You have to answer this in the comment section. And I will pin the right, the right answer. The right answer I will pin so that you can know which what is the right answer. Now coming to the example. First of all, here is the motor. We can double click on the motor and go to the name palette. And in the name palette, this is the KV, uh, kilowatt rating of the motor and this is the KVA rating. This is the voltage rating that is 0 0.415 kilovolt. And this is, the, this is the full load current. The full load current is 230, 123.4 amperes. And this is the pole. Number of poles is 4. This is the power factor at 100%. 75% and 50% and this is the efficiency at 100%, 75% and 50% and this is a full load current and 100%, 75% and 50%. Okay, the slip is 0 0.05 and the safety factor here we have considered as a is 1. Then go to the in page. In the in page, the percentage LRC that is rocket rotor current is 600 and the LRA is 740. 740.5 and the percentage power factor is 33.606 and x by r ratio is 2.855 and the time is 0 0.2 seconds here i want to explain you what does the lrc mean what is the lrc lrc locked sort of current for the current drawn by an electric motor when the motor is stationary locked but full voltage is applied to the motor terminals this situation typically occurs at the moment the motor starts from the rest. Actually, the LRC is the current when the rotor is stationary or when the rotor is at rest or when the rotor is locked. Generally, we can say this is actually a starting current of the uh, motor. LRC is significantly higher than the motor's full load current, typically 5 to 7 times the rated current for, for standard motor. For a standard motor, the LRC is ranging between 5 to uh, 7 times, that is 500% to 700% of full load current. This high current lasts only for a brief period during the startup until the motor gains speed and the current reduced to the normal running value. You have also studied about this in your BTEC or MTEC course that when the motor gains speed, the current drops to the normal value. Manufacturers typically specify the locket rotor current on the motor's name palette or in technical documents. They are 
locked rotor the details about the locked rotor current is mentioned on or either in nameplate or in the technical document that is jtp we are called the jtp general technical guaranteed technical particulars or technical specification document now you have know about the lrc and lra you can see one thing here you can go to the nameplate again what is the full load current here here the full load uh, full load current is 123.4 and the percentage even and percentage lrc is 600 when you multiply this full load current with 6 that is become a 740 740.5 okay now go to the protection page in the protection page the starting curve is at 100 percent the acceleration time is two seconds and 80 at 80 percent of the voltage the acceleration time is four seconds and thermal uh, time curve we have considered the hot star and cold star okay now after the motor this is the overload relay this is the overload relay you can double click here the we have considered the overload relay here siemens 3uf seven you can go to settings and go to library in the library you can select your overload relay this is the manufacturer's name this is the model of the manufacturer's name and this is a relay type that is electronic and electro mechanical and protection whether you are using for motor or general purpose and this is a overload inline function and this is the brand name click ok then click ok again then go to contractor in the contractor you can see the rating of the contractor is 0 0.6 kilo volt and the current rating is 250 amperes and the type is contractor and the interruption capacity is 2.5 kilo amperes this is the interruption capacity and dropout is dropout is 0 0.133 second dropout time is 0 0.133 seconds and click ok then go to the fuse in the fuse you can have the rating tab in the rating tab the voltage rating is 0 0.6 kilovolt size 250 ampere is constant ampere age is 250 and the test power factor is 15 you can go to library and select your fuse here we have selected the gec hrc fuse 0 0.6 kilovolt this is the different specification of the fuse you can select based on your need then click ok then click ok ok then there is a switch this is a switch you can select here the switch reliability info page and click ok before before moving further we should know about the contractor Contactor is an electronically controlled switch used to manage and control the flow of electricity in a circuit. It is commonly used in industrial and commercial electrical systems to switch high power devices such as motors and heaters etc. Designed to handle large currents typically range from few amperes to thousands of amperes. In the previous lectures, I have uh, taught you, I have uh, I teached you how to select the pick up value of a current but I want to here to uh, put a more light on the pick up value how you can select the pick up value how do you consider the pick up value of a uh, system or a pick up value for a relay pick up uh, selection per phase the above the rated or a full load current that is our pick up value for a phase uh, conductor or a phase uh, conductor or a phase it should be above the rated value or a full load current or, or it should be above the above the continuously overload current. if we have considered that our system is 10 percent overload then the uh, our pickup should be above that uh, that value that the overload value and generally we are considering the pickup value 100 to 110 percent of the rated current for a ground phase the 
uh, pickup should be above the unbalanced load current if you know the load current unbalanced load current the pickup value should be above the unbalanced load current and if you know about the capacitor or charging current in case of long cables and transmission line there is a appreciable very good capacity or charging current if you know that and you should be pick, uh, select your pickup above the charging current or uh, otherwise generally we are taking 20 to 30 percent of full load current for a ground okay okay now we have explained all these uh, protections to the you got the pressure provided to the transfer to the motor in the next lecture we will take the another section of this example that is about the, the this bus bar we can take the in the next lecture thank you